The diagram shows the sketch of the graph of y equal to 3 minus 2x minus x squared passing through a, b, and c. But a. Find the coordinates of the points a and d, c. Question 2. Find the turning point of the graph. So to answer question 1, where they want us to find the coordinates of A and C. So first we need to know the zeros of X, where the curve intersects the X axis. So how are we going to know the zeros? Is by considering the X axis as Y equal to 0. As y equal to 0. So now where there is a y into the quadratic function, we shall replace 0. So that we can convert the function into quadratic equation. So it is going to be y equal to 0. So 3 minus 2x minus x squared equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation. Now how do we find the zeros of the quadratic equation? Is by either using the quadratic formula or factorization method. So in this case, since this is paper 1, we shall use the factorization method. Where we need to apply product sum factor. And the product is obtained by multiplying constant to the coefficient of x. And the coefficient of x here is negative 1. So we need to multiply negative 1 to 3, which is going to give us negative 3 as the product. Then for sum, we are going to pick the coefficient of negative 2x, which is negative 2. Then for the factors, we need to look for two numbers we can multiply to give us the product of negative 3. The same two numbers, if we add or subtract, they should give us the sum of negative 2. So the factors are going to be 1, comma, negative 3. 1, comma, negative 3. Because if we multiply 1 to negative 3, we are getting negative 3. If we add 1 to negative 3, we are getting negative 2. So these are the factors. So now we need to rewrite the equation. And we replace where there is negative 2x with the factors. So we have 1. Here we are going to write plus x. Because we know that x it has a coefficient of 1. Minus 3x minus x squared, which is equal to 0. So after rewriting the equation, now we need to group. So that we can factorize. So what is common in the first bracket is 1. So 1 out will remain with 3 plus x minus what is common in the second bracket is x. So we shall remain with 3. Negative x into negative x squared is positive x equal to 0. Then we group the factors together. So 1 minus x. Then between the two, we need to pick 1. So you should make sure that they are common. So 3 plus x equal to 0. Okay, so now from there, we need to equate each expression to 0. So 1 minus x equal 
equal to 0 or 3 plus x equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to 1 or x equal to negative 3 when it crosses the cosine. Here, when negative x crosses the cosine, it will become positive. That's why we are having x equal to positive 1. So now we have the zeros of uh, x. So it is just the matter of checking. So A, it is located to the negative side. C, to the positive side. So coordinate A is going to be negative 3, comma negative 3 comma 0 and coordinate B I mean coordinate C is going to be 1 comma 0 so these are the coordinates We go to question two. Find the turning point of the graph. Find the turning point of the graph. So when you hear this question, it means they want you to find the point at which the curve is changing its orientation or its direction. So this is the point where it is changing its orientation. Now for us to know this coordinate, we need to find first the symmetrical equation we need to find the symmetrical equation the equation that is demarcating this curve into two equal parts and this equation is obtained by x equal to negative b over 2a or if you want you can apply calculus where you differentiate the curve if you want but the easiest method you can apply is this one so now this is the equation used to find the symmetric equation or the formula used to find the symmetric equation so now we are going to label 3 as in c then in negative 2x as b then negative x squared as a so that's how we are going to correct data so x equal to where there is b we have to replace negative 2 over 2 where there is a, we have to replace negative 1. Because it is the coefficient of, it is the coefficient of negative x. So x equal to negative times negative, which is going to be positive 2 over negative 2. So x equal to negative 1 so this is the symmetric equation after finding the symmetric equation you have to repress now so we need to repress now where there is the x into the original function with the negative 1 so that we find now the maximum value of x since this curve it is the maximum so we need to find the maximum value of x. I mean maximum value of y. <coughs> the maximum value of y. When x equal to negative 1. So we are going to repress into the original function.
where there is x with negative 1, So y equal to 3, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So y equal to 3 plus 2, 5, 5 minus 1, 4. So this is the maximum value. The maximum value of the maximum value of y. So after finding the maximum value of y and the symmetric equation, we can now conclude the turning point. Therefore, the turning point is going to be negative one, comma. That's how you should answer when you are asked to find the turning point. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Marenga E. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos in mathematics and physics.